Hey guys, welcome to another video. If you're new here, I'm April and I'm a skincare and cosmetic chemist. At this point, I should make a song with that because I say that all the time. Anyway, I talk about all things skincare on this channel, back end and front end of all things skincare. If you're interested in stuff like that, definitely hit that like button, subscribe to this channel because we're here every other day now every two days. So today's video, as you can tell from the title, is about AHAs. AHAs are your exfoliating chemicals. They're alpha hydroxy acid. Most popular ones that you have in the market are glycolic acid, lactic acid, mandelic acid, citric acid, uh, tartaric acid, and a host of others. In today's video, we'll be focusing on three of those acids, glycolic, lactic, and mandelic. I'm sure you're wondering, what about the other acids? Those other acids, as much as they're AHAs, their molecules are so huge, they can barely penetrate the skin. So these three that I'm talking about today are the ones that actually get into their skin and do the work. Starting with the one with the larger molecule of the three, mandelic acid. Mandelic acid, as I said, is the bigger molecule of the three. It penetrates the skin a lot more slowly slowly than lactic or glycolic. So it's suitable for people of color, uh, people of brown skin. A lot of the research that's been done on this type of acid has been done in India, Egypt, because people out there that have deeper colored skin would appreciate this acid a lot more. It is usually combined with salicylic acid for peels, for people that are wanting to get rid of acne scars, hyperpigmentation, or just dark spots in general. It's usually seen as a combined peel with a salicylic acid. Typically this acid works best around 10 to 18 percent which is what you usually see it in so anything lower than that is not going to work do not get mandelic acid at five percent four percent eight percent try to get it at a higher percentage that's where it does its work best moving on to lactic acid lactic acid has a much smaller molecule than mandelic acid lactic acid is actually found naturally in the skin as a natural moisturizing factor so for people that are wanting to use lactic acid for this uh, purpose they typically would use it at a percentage of two percent but if you're wanting to get that exfoliating property out of it you gotta get it from five percent to eight percent lactic acid as much as it works great can be a turn off to a lot of people because lactic acid has a very sticky feel to it the texture is really sticky and it could have a smell to it so a lot of people would prefer to go the mandelic acid or glycolic acid route speaking of glycolic acid let's talk about glycolic acid glycolic acid is the gold standard AHA everyone and their mom loves glycolic acid however there is a subset of people that do find glycolic acid to be irritating to their skin because it has the smallest molecule of all of the three so it goes really deeply into your skin really quickly and it starts to work so that could cause post inflammatory hyperpigmentation or just deeply sensitize your skin. If you don't know if you are sensitive to glycolic, I would advise to test it in a small area of your body, your face, and see how you react to it. Glycolic acid usually works best and is safe to use at home between 5 to 8 percent. Even up to 10 percent is safe to use at home. Glycolic acid can also be used as high as 30 percent to 70 percent, but please only do this in a doctor's office or in an esthetician's office. Do not try this at home. You can do the 20 percent glycolic acid as like a weekly pill with which is great to you know help exfoliate the skin cells and help cell turnover but please do not go up to 30 to 70 percent and please do not buy like gallic acid at 70 or 80 percent on amazon or ebay or any of these third party websites try to only limit your glycolic acid use to the safe percentage use at home or if you want to get a chemical pill you can go to a dermatologist or an esthetician to get it done and yeah that's it for this video i really wanted to make a quick video to tell you guys about the popular ahas that you may see in your products i hope you guys enjoyed the video leave me a thumbs up smash that thumbs up button if you liked the video definitely subscribe to this channel if you want to hear more about skincare and skincare ingredients definitely check out my other videos at the end of this video because i have so much juiciness at the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time bye